So to open the model scene, you can use the whatever the path you have provided previously. We can use that. Otherwise, we can type here model scene. Model scene Intel FPGA started edition. We can click on this. We'll open the model scene file software. So here first can go to file and change directory. So here wherever you want to store the files, there we can create a new folder. New folder. PCLR. And select this folder. Now then file, click on new source very long now here we are going to simulate the full order code so for that we need to write the full order program full order the inputs are a b c some come c in modules now in between we need to write this code and we need to specify what are the inputs and what are the outputs. Input here we are writing the code for one bit full letter, so inputs are one bit size. Remember, this is in case sensitive ABC and then output sum sum C out. So here I'm writing the data flow model. So directly I'm writing the Boolean equations for that sum and C out. And then sum equal to A XOR, B XOR, C next, and then C out equal to A B or B C or C A. Now here and this is a logical end operation. If you want to place the braces, you can place otherwise no need. For understanding purpose only I am placing braces here. So this is the two boolean expressions for that full ladder design. So simply save this file, save. And wherever you have created the folder that will open directly there and then uh, give the name as as it is, whatever the module name you have mentioned, the same name we need to uh, give it here and with the extension of dot V and then save. Now in order to test this one, uh, so we need to compile this first. Before going to compile, I will write the test bench for this. So for that we need to uh, take the other new source file, source very long. And here we are going to write the test file, test bench file. So we are writing the test bench, we are verifying the uh, functionality of the full ladder. So I am writing the full ladder, let's score TB. And here no need to mention any port declaration for this. N module next so while writing the test bench you need to remember like inputs are declared with the register reg a comma b comma c and outputs are declared with wire wire sum comma c out you can give any kind of names but while mapping we need to map perfectly so we are writing the test bench for this full ladder and we need to instant this module in the test bench file So here we need to mention the name of that module which we are going to test. So we need to map it TA with TA. Inputs with inputs and output with output. And see. In sum, yeah. 
So this is the instantiation of uh, module. So we are going to verify that one we need to instantiate here and then we are going to provide the inputs so that one we will provide with the help of initial and begin statement initial begin now end so here i am writing the inputs a equal to this is the representation of the number so one all are one bit format so we'll give the one bits only so one tick b b0 next b equal to one take b0 so next i'm going to provide some delay for the next inputs in the letter 5 as 5 so instead of 5 we can give it 10 also that is a time delay Zero zero next in potter than zero zero one. So here three inputs, eight combinations. So with this, we have completed the writing of test bench for the full header. So we need to save this file. I'll save in dot v and save. Now we need to compile the codes whether our codes are correct or not syntactically. So we need to go to compile and select compile. And directly it will open the wherever the we have stored that folder it will open. Why? Because of we have changed the directory already. So it will go to that directory only. So select those two and compile. It will ask whether the work directory need to create or not. So click on yes. It will create the directory and done. And Open the transcript whether it will say whether uh, any error or error errors are there or not. It will uh, show here. So it is showing one warning here. 25, 25th line. So here we have we have mentioned like one tick B0. So the size is only we need to give one bit format. next to save and then here go to library so it has created the work directory here so open this so our files are here only so we have some warning in the full ladder test bench so once again we need to recompile it so right click and then recompile and then check whether any any error error is there or not so all errors are gone and warnings also it's showing zero so directly go to library and then uh, open the work and then click on simulate we can use here also directly click on the simulate we can directly start simulate so and then after opening this sim folder so we need to right click on it and click on add view so and then this is a run pattern here so click on this run symbol so all are run here and then maximize this one by this clicking by clicking this one so the first one we have given like uh, need to change the radix we can click right click and then select all and then click on radix and then i'm making it as a binary so all inputs are zero zero so sum is zero carry and one so one input is in one so sum become one and carry is zero and next is also same so the next one is in uh, a b b equal to one then sum equal to one and carry equal to zero and the last one so this is in sixth one two inputs are one and one uh, third input is in zero so we'll get carry zero and sum carry one and sum is zero and this final one all ones so we'll get three three ones we are adding so we'll get three in three we can represent the binary double one so sum is one and carry is zero carry is one sorry so like this we need to verify after completion of verification we need to go to simulate here and then end simulation so like this we need to write the code and uh, design the module and then verify the 
verify by writing its test message. Thank you.